Pisces, hello. I just realized I didn't call in your collective yet. I'm going to do that right now. For those of you who have been here before, welcome back. And to those of you who it's your first time, welcome. I'm Denise, this is Surrender to the Flow Tarot, and I'll be doing a timeless general reading for the collective of Pisces. So that's Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, or Ascendant, or Venus. Um, it's a general reading, it's not gonna resonate with everyone. So take what resonates, leave the rest, and be careful not to put yourself in a story that isn't yours. So you don't wanna relate to it, you wanna resonate with it. There's a difference, right? What we're asking the universe today is what do you need to receive? What do you need to release? And what is going on around you that you are unaware of? And we are using the Ex Animo Tarot by Bon O'Gare. Um, it's all Major Arcana and it's dope for that. And to clarify, we will use either one or both of the Field Tarot or the Tower of Mystical Moments or the White Witch Tarot. It just depends on what yells at us okay so my little bitty fishies last but not leashies Pisces are you ready let's see what you need to receive time for a transformation Whoa, your own card. Okay, the bottom of the deck is the High Priestess. What you need to receive is death and it's going into the reverse. So that is screaming transformation. You need to let the death happen so you can be reborn. You need to stop being the caterpillar and holding on to it so you can become the butterfly. You need to let it happen to you, right? What you need to release is the emperor sideways moving into the upright so you need to let go of all of the need to control the one way of seeing the one your way or the highway you're right you're right you're right if you're screaming you're right you're right you're right but there's a situation happening around you and people are saying no you're not and there's just things falling apart you need to let it go you need to let it go Reassess why you need to let it go. You need to figure that out for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You need to stand in your power. Yelling about it isn't being in your power, right? It's a Pisces when they're in their power. They're like a sunbeam, a moonbeam, a rainbow beam, Right? What's going on around you that you're unaware of is the moon sideways heading into the upright. So this is, it could be you fighting your intuition, but I, I feel like it might be something else. So I'm gonna pull a clarifier from the field tarot, okay? Tell us more about the moon for Pisces. I think more clear spirit about the moon. What is going on? Okay, the tower. So, yeah, that's what you're fighting, right? With the death, you're fighting that. What came out both sideways? It's interesting, your entire reading came out sideways. So you're like teetering. You're right there, right? You're right there. You're consistent. Is the... Princess of Cups, which is the Page of Cups, and the Three of Discs, which is the Three of Pentacles, and they're both going toward the reverse. Yeah.
So that's where you're where you're headed. You feel me? If you don't rectify it, if you don't catch it. All right, hold on. So what's going on around you that you're unaware of? is an offer of love. Someone is teetering on an offer of love. Is the is the beginnings of like maybe rectifying as a reconciliation. Maybe. Someone around you is working on themselves and they are seeking help from other sources. It could be people, it could be research. And they are trying to get up the courage to make things right. Trying to figure out if that's you. My face is like suddenly breaking out. Give me a moment, okay? There's a rebuilding. There's a confidence in it. There's a trust. The trust is being rebuilt here. And in order for that to move forward, what was has to die. You have to let it go. You got to let it go. Let go of it. Release it. Take care of you, self-care, your physical needs, food, shelter, um, food, hydration, sleeping, shelter. Get back in your power. So that you can receive this. Right now you're blocking it from happening. I'm getting it could even be a work thing. Like there's a new opportunity that's coming to you, but you're, you're blocking it. And it's something that's dear to your heart. But it can't show itself to you because you are trying to control how it happens. It could be either of those scenarios. It could be a relationship scenario. It could be the one I just said. It would be so fantastic if you let me know in the comments if either of those things resonate with you. I'm gonna pull a white witch just on the moon. One more for the moon. One more for what is going on around Pisces that they're unaware of. What's going on around Pisces that they're unaware of. Strength. Yeah, this is someone getting up the courage to move forward. To take a leap outside of just themselves. To let themselves be open to working with other people or with other energies or reconciling in a partnership 
but it's working toward a common goal. You know what I mean? Like it's like working on the same project, like you're all different parts of the same project, but it's all heartfelt. That's what's going on around you that you're unaware of. Somebody is working on that. All right, Pisces, I hope this helped. <laughs> it was challenging. Um, let me know in the comments if it did. Thank you again for coming and sharing your energy with me. And I will see you next week. Bye.